today we're going to look at two iconic dolls from our collection. Barbie and Britain's answer, Cindy. Which one's better? There's only one way to find out. We're going to look at their wardrobes. <laughs> Barbie is confident, she's a career woman, she's contemporary, and she's the ultimate California girl. Barbie was initially conceived of by Ruth Handler in 1959, who realized that children didn't just want a doll that looked like them or looked like a baby. They wanted to play make-believe in an adult world. This Barbie has a black and white striped knitted swimsuit, a pair of modestly heeled black pumps, pursed red lips, a curly fringe, and matching red nail polish. In the early 20th century, knitted swimsuits were often made from real wool. And so when they got wet, they would deform, they would bag, they would sag. With the introduction of synthetic yarns, knitted swimsuits could be made that would hug your figure. It's really informative of the time that Barbie was created where swimwear became a fashion look in itself, not just a state of undress. The autobiography of Carol Spencer's, one of Barbie's fashion designers, tells us that Barbie had about 120 new outfits made for her every year by a team of five or six designers. My favourite part of this Barbie is her curly fringe, which is so reminiscent of 1950s movie stars. She's an incredibly glamorous woman at the beach. In 1963, four years after the launch of the first Barbie, comes Britain's answer, Cindy. <laughs> Cindy was launched with her Weekender ensemble. Wide-legged blue jeans with yellow stitching on the back yoke and pockets. A short bob, a red Alice band, white lace-up trainers, and a red, white and blue, very British Breton top. Cindy's debut wardrobe was designed by Fole and Tuffin, who were young British fashion designers with a shop just off of Carnaby Street in the 1960s. Looking at Barbie and Cindy together, they couldn't be more different. Barbie is the quintessential California glam, whereas Cindy is the relaxed, youthful, cool girl of London. As you can see, this doll has been well-loved and well-played with as she's missing two of her fingers. When you first bought Cindy, she came in her Weekender ensemble, but Fall and Tuffin designed a whole range of youthful, vibrant fashions for her to wear, like lunch date, dream date, country walk, seaside sweetheart, and shopping in the rain. At the V&A, we're really lucky to have nearly the entirety of Cindy's original wardrobe, so I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. This is Cindy's shopping in the rain outfit. Shopping in the rain comes with brightly colored red vinyl accessories like welly boots on a shopper. The outfit comes with a coordinating brolly and is topped off by a matching vinyl headscarf. And of course, Cindy's gone shopping, so we can't forget what she bought. Three tiny oranges. To make Cindy's wardrobe look like it had just stepped off the streets of London, the Foll and Tuffin incorporated key elements of their design practice into Cindy's wardrobe, like a liberal use of vinyl, plenty of tartan, shorter hemlines, coordinating separates, and the use of loose, comfortable toweling. And now, as if by magic, Cindy's ready for the beach. This is her seaside sweetheart look. She has an orange toweling hooded robe and a matching orange toweling bag to hold all of her beach accessories. Just like her sunglasses, which I think she should model for us. And a tiny little bottle of suntan lotion 
looking at both Barbie and Cindy in their beach outfits, you can see two very different ideas of glamour. You've got Barbie with a nipped in waist, pearl earrings, curly fringe, and then you've got Cindy, who's still glamorous, but she's also relaxed and she's ready for an adventure. If I had to choose between the two, for me personally, Cindy has the edge. I mean, look at her sunglasses. This is Black Barbie. On the front of her box, it says she's black, she's beautiful, she's dynamite. She was released 20 years after the first Barbie and she was the first black doll to be called Barbie. This Barbie's outfit was designed by Kitty Black Perkins. She grew up in racially segregated South Carolina and for 10 of the years that she worked at Mattel, she was their only black designer. Barbie's evening gown is long and sparkly. It's got chunky jewelry, a chunky gold necklace. Oh my God, her platforms. There are so many good things about this Barbie. Don't put that in. It's got this slit all the way up the sides. And then when Barbie gets a little bit further into the night, she can even do a costume change. This Barbie is very proudly and resolutely a black Barbie and that's shown best in her short natural hair. You can imagine this Barbie walking into the middle of a nightclub but under a disco ball, all eyes are on her. This Barbie is ready to go to the disco. In the 1990s, Cindy celebrated her 30th birthday. At her birthday party, she wore a dress by legendary British fashion designer Vivian Westwood. There are only two of these dolls in the world and we have one of them here at the museum. The Vivian Westwood Cindy wears a pink satin gown with a corseted pink top, a padded pink skirt and a matching crown over incredibly elaborate hair. She completes the look with pink rocking horse shoes and Vivian Westwood's iconic orb around her neck. Much like Fold and Tuffin did for Cindy in the 1960s, Vivian Westwood took key elements of her women's wear designs and made them in miniature. Vivian Westwood called this skirt the mini crinny, a fun, shorter, playful take on the Victorian crinoline. But looking at the construction of Cindy's skirt, we can actually see that it's more akin to an Elizabethan bum roll. With the bum roll, the volume of the skirt relies on a heavily padded piece of fabric that wraps around her hips. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Vivian Westwood was famous for playing with historical references from British fashion. And so it's amazing to see these little construction details on Cindy. Another amazing detail about this outfit is her shoes. Vivian Westwood called these shoes the rocking horse shoe. They're another part of her 1985 collection, Minicrin. They're kind of like a sandal, kind of like a clog. They've got this cutout at the back. When the wearer walks, the intention was that the mincrin would bounce up and down, kind of like a tutu, and it would create poise and elegance in the wearer. It's really only fitting for a British icon like Cindy to be dressed by Vivian Westwood, and the results are absolutely spectacular. It's such a shame that these were never put into production, but it's really special that we have one of only two of these in the world. For decades, Barbie has had a similar body type and predominantly white skin. But in the last few years, Mattel has designed an incredibly diverse range of Barbie dolls. Barbie now comes in new body types. She comes in a wheelchair. She has vitiligo. This Barbie is modeled in the image of trans actor and producer Laverne Cox. 
Laverne is wearing a deep red oxblood gown with a pleather corset at the top and a dramatic sweeping tulle ball gown at the bottom. She's got silver earrings and peeking out you can see holographic silver boots. It's a contemporary and glamorous red carpet look modelled on Laverne Cox's love of corsetry, dramatic tailoring. Barbie has always reflected what is going on around her in the world. And right now, the fashion industry is beginning to understand the importance of designs by and for a diverse range of audiences. One of my favourite details about this doll is her hair. It was specifically requested by Laverne Cox to be old Hollywood full waves in a dark honey blonde, but crucially with dark lowlights revealing the true dark colour of her hair. This doll is an amazing example of how Barbie manages to stay contemporary and glamorous. Coordinating colours, fun accessories, matching separates, big reveals. Dolls' clothes are one of the best things about them. But the clothes that have been designed for a doll are so much more than set dressing. A doll's clothes tell her character, set the scene, and show a huge amount about the society that surrounds them. Who wins the fashion race out of Barbie and Cindy? For me, they're both incredibly glamorous, but I have to go with Cindy. Vivian Westwood, Fole and Tuffin, she carries her British fashion plaudits with grace and I love her for it.